subscribe to my channel. Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you found me. My name is Andrea and today we are going to talk about making use of pictures in the books that we read. If you have any new ideas or thoughts, drop them in the comments below and if you feel moved to do so, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so you are probably thinking, okay Andrea, I have my functional workspace, I have my renovated library, now what? Now moms and dads, we will start learning or refining skills in each of the reading strategies. These next series of videos, we are going to see these strategies in action and then you at home can go and take them and modify them to the stages and ages that your child, your reader is at. I will also provide key phrases for you to ask the reader to help them build that confidence to attack reading. The first strategy is making use of pictures. In the younger grades, you might hear the teachers use the term using your eagle eyes. Pictures are valuable tools for readers as they provide essential clues to help um, understand what is happening in a story, depending on the reading level or grade level of your reader. Pictures can help them to under figure out in a known word, which is picture to word matching. They can help give a general meaning of what is going on in a story or the text. And um, they can also help with predictions, with sequencing, comparing, contrasting, um, finding a text to self, text to text, or text to world connections. And let's not forget non-fictional texts. You can use charts, graphs, captions to help support our readers. Pictures can also help us answer the character setting and plot questions and those five W comprehension, who, what, where, when, and why questions. Don't forget, as you're using this strategy with your reader, to ask those open-ended questions. Those are the ones that require more of an explanation versus the one-worded answers. I have two very special guests here to help show you at home how to use pictures to make the best guess of an unknown word. The question I'm going to ask them, do the words in the pictures match and does it make sense? So today I pulled in a special guest to help us solve for words we don't know using pictures. We have today Candy Cane the Unicorn. Hello Candy Cane the Unicorn, how are you? Excellent. All right, Candy, can you help me? I don't know some of these words. Can you help me with them please? Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, so we picture walked through the book and now we are going to try to read this sentence, but uh-oh. I'm stuck. Candy, can you help me? Let's look at the picture. What's going on? Well, in a second. Can you tell me what's the, going on in the picture first? Digging. Who's digging? The construction. The construction workers are digging. Very good. Um, and I see they have shovels. What else are they using to dig? Sh construction. Builders. There are the machine. Machine. And why do you think people need machines? So I cannot get tired of digging. Excellent. All right, um, Candy, let's read. I have our sight word here. Let's move this just a little bit. What is this word? They. They. They, hmm, they. I've got to guess the other word. Can you use the picture um, to try to guess that word? Dig. Dig. Hmm, do you think dig makes sense? Let's look. Yeah. Yes, it says they dig, dig, dig. Perfect. High five. Look, there's a period and exclamation there, mark. There are. And this. Perfect. All right, Candy, you guess the meaning of this word by looking at the pictures and making a best guess. Way to go. So my next guess here is Mario, and Mario is going to help me with the higher level books. All right, let's start reading. Let's stop when you get here, and we're going to use our, our pictures to help with this word, okay? Uh -huh. All right, go ahead and start reading. A woman hit a... Very good. Oh, man, I don't know that word. So... If I'm looking at the picture, what word do you think I could put here to make the picture and the word match? Woman hit a what? Fence! 
How do you know it's a fence? Because I see that is a fence and she hit her bike on the fence. Right. So that kind of connection will help us figure out this unknown word. Let's go ahead and take it off and see if it makes sense. Can you read it with the word now? Yep. Fence. Can you read the sentence? A woman hit a fence. Mm hmm Officer Jen can help. Excellent job. High five. Those two did such a great job, didn't they? Well, I hope you found this video very helpful. And I can't wait to see you again. Until then, stay positive, stay confident, and I'll see you in the next one.